All right, today I am going to go ahead and put a resin coat on a couple pieces that I have that are going um, in a, a festival that's coming up, a street painting festival here in South Florida. Um, it's really big and I'm pretty excited to have some pieces to go in it. And um, so I have, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm doing this on my phone, by the way. I'm just a normal person, stay at home mom. So if the quality of this video isn't the best, um, I'm not trying to be a professional YouTuber. <laughs> I'm just trying to help um, some people, maybe in my acrylic pour groups on Facebook or anyone on the internet searching around YouTube that's looking um, how to start doing some resin over their acrylic pours or over their paintings in general because I noticed that it really makes the colors pop. So here's my test piece that I did before. Um, I just kind of wanted to do something small so I could see how the resin mixed up and everything. I didn't want to make any mistakes. This stuff is pricey. So that was my test piece. It's amazing. I absolutely love resin. I am really excited. Um, I went ahead and prepped my canvas. I tore out some pieces of my son had leftover um, stuff from a science project like years ago. So, and it was like fairly, it's like foam board. So I ripped some pieces and went ahead and supported the back of the canvas. <clears throat> Here is painting. So we're going to be resin in that bad boy up. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and mix everything. It takes a while to mix. Um, I just did about an ounce and a half before it was like maybe like a shot glass <laughs> and um it gets like cloudy when you're mixing it it gets pretty cloudy and then it gets clearer after that so if do you know you kind of can tell when it's ready and um I'll come back and we'll do this painting all right so I have poured both of them into this cup and I'm going to start mixing. I just wanted to remind everyone, make sure you have gloves on. <laughs> okay, back to mixing. All right. Whew. <laughs> Excited, nervous, everything. I got my resin all mixed. It's clear. There's a little bit of bubbles, but not that many. And when I did the smaller, um, piece, it was fine. They kind of all went away. So, whoa. It said I would need 16 ounces according to <clears throat> the directions that came with the resin. Using a plastic spoon to spread it around. Hmm. It's pretty easy to manipulate. <laughs> So I can't even tell you how much this makes the colors pop, but also it really gives it like this three-dimensional feel. 
feel to it. It just gives it a lot of depth. Probably a um, like depressor, a tongue depressor, or some craft sticks would have been better. But I forgot. So we are innovative and we make do with what we have sometimes, right? <laughs> okay, so I might want to tilt this. I have gloves on. Chair out of the way. Stuff sure is stinky. Oops. Sorry, I know you can't really see. I'm just tilting. Kind of. Definitely don't want a lot of runoff because this stuff is expensive. I woke up this morning so excited the delivery had come yesterday um, I just didn't have the time to dedicate to do this properly this morning I woke up I was like a kid on Christmas the excitement was real <laughs> And you can't really see what I'm doing on this side, but what I am doing is I'm taking my gloved hand and I'm um, going around the edges. And I'm going to go ahead and take those off just in case there's any or anything. We definitely don't want any little hairs in our resin. Glove. And I've heard, um, I'm part of a Facebook group and I've heard people talk about the, um, the back of their paintings. Uh, when they resin them, there's, I guess, these little beads that dry up and they're um, nasty little guys who harden and then people have a hard time getting them off. Um, <clears throat> and I did not tape, as you saw, I did not tape or anything the back of my canvas. So I'm just going around with my hand and kind of smoothing any excess off and then using it elsewhere. Um, it's a lot of resin over here, so I want to make sure I get So I definitely would have used more than 16 ounces, <laughs> but, oh, <laughs> and I wouldn't have done that, but it is a learning experience, right? As is life. So, whoopsie. Best playlist. Laid plans, right? <laughs> okay. No biggie. Not the end of the world. Maybe the end of my YouTube career. No. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just a normal person. As you see, this is our spare room slash where my husband likes to throw all his tools. And I've made it my art room in the past couple months. So, I know a lot of people have like these beautiful studios and I'm so envious and maybe one day I'll be there. No, one day I will be there. But today, we're just learning. 
Okay, so I'm going to do a close-up so you can get on in there. Let's see. Let me just inspect, make sure I don't have any little weirdos. I have a little speck of something. I don't know what it was. But I was able to pull it out. Yay. I think I'm going to use the flashlight on my phone. I think that would be a really good way to highlight anything. So let me just grab my phone here. Bear with me for a second. Okay. So, <laughs> wow. It just gives it so much depth. Like, ah. Uh, it's better than when you first pour and you're like, oh, please stay like this, please. Oh, I got a bubble right there. See, okay, so I'm going to have to get that guy. But yeah, other than that, it's, it's beautiful. Come on, focus. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything's level and set this up. Um... I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Again, sorry about the quality. I'm not a professional YouTuber. This is just for fun, just to help anybody out. If they have any questions, um, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching.